Yo, what's up, YouTube? Beer Pressure episode number 66. And today we're coming at you guys with uh, Blue Moon Gingerbread Spiced Ale. Now, it's a seasonal collection, however, I just want to say this. I thought it was kind of weird since we're in the month of April. And they're coming out with this gingerbread stuff already, so... We probably we probably got the leftovers. No I don't complaints. know. <laughs> don't know. Not no really complaints. sure, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna review it. Looks pretty good. So, we got a real dark amber look to it. You can smell some of the gingerbread notes. Kind of got that smell thing. It smells like also. cinnamon to me. You can smell a little bit of that too. All smells right. good. Alright, let's get into it. Without further ado. Cheers. Cheers. It's not disappointing. No. It's it's actually pretty pretty good actually. Although um, I don't know you should if you should put it orange in this since that's a blue moon type <clears throat> of thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, I wouldn't I would recommend not doing that. I would just drink straight out of the bottle for this one here. Unless you hear otherwise from other people. Yeah. That's good. Now, um, I want to say that the flavors kind of mix in pretty well. It's not like one and then something else. You still get the ale taste, of course. It's there. Subtle. But it's there. And the flavors just kind of go together, so I'm kind of feeling that. It's kind of cool. Uh, carbonation is kind of like where I like it. Not too much, but not too little. Somewhere in between, so... That's got something going for it too. I'm not disappointed. This is really good. The price, I think this particular uh, Blue Moon was $6. High $6, uh, low $7. Pretty forgive, affordable. Forgive me because <clears throat> uh, I lost the receipt. So, But either way, it's pretty affordable for those who like Blue Moon. Want to try something new? All right, so More festive. I say um, on the three levels that we always like to give out. Um, I'm definitely gonna say that this is. It's kind of like just because if it's it's a novelty that kind of has like a default for being some you know being so, for somebody who's like a beginner. So um, if you're curious about what a gingerbread will taste in an ale, here you go. Pretty easy to drink. It's not that strong, not too much of a bitter taste. So, there's that. Though if you are a beginner beer drinker and you're not too sure how beer might really taste, I would hold off on this because you, you, it doesn't taste exactly like gingerbread. Yeah, it's a <laughs> novelty. That's what it is, basically. It's not supposed to really taste like ale, beer, whatever you want to call it. So, so that's gonna that's gonna lead us to some of the situations. I think this might be good in. I mean, maybe uh, like a wine and cheese, beer and cheese situation. It might be good. Or a Christmas party. A Chris, yeah, yeah, somewhere <laughs> in the holidays, like I said. Even this, though we're in April. <laughs> it seems like kind of like the wrong month for this to come out, but we don't even know how long this has been sitting on the shelf, so, I mean, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Let's not get sick, knock on wood. <laughs> now, let's get straight to the verdict, you know. It's really not too much to talk about here. I said I want to give it, I want to give it an 8. Solid eight. Um, 
And just because I said there's not too much to talk about, that's also kind of a good thing too because it's, it's pretty simple. straightforward. Yeah. Pretty straightforward. It tells you what you should expect and when you drink it, it goes down smooth. Pretty good stuff. So solid eight coming from me. This is going to get an eight and a half for me. Cool. It's a uh, sweet, well, it's not like sweet like candy, but it's got the right flavor for me, you know? It It's an L, so it's going to be a little bit strong, so keep that in mind. But I recommend it. Check it out. Do you guys agree? Let us know in the comment box below. Let Give us some feedback. Maybe if you got a request to make, we're always down for that too. So kind of makes the channel a little more exciting. Actually being able to interact with you guys out there too. So with all that being said, thank you very much for watching this episode. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Peace.